back with another video this week. Per request, I am going to do a follow along. So grab your mats, get a comfy spot, and get ready for some wonderful chill yoga that anyone can do, any level, any style. I hope you enjoy and I hope it's wonderful. Don't forget, if you like it, give this a like at the end. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. You can start to sway and start to feel the four corners of your feet. The left and right side of the back of the heel the pinky toes, and your big toe. Once you get those four corners, try to find the very center. Where there's equal pressure on all four sides. Becoming aware of the pelvis now. Try to find your center. You might be leaning far back or leaning forward. Look for that balance point. Breathing in, drawing the energy from the bottom of your feet. Creating a straight spine to the top of your head. Pretend that a string is pulling you upright. Putting the arm down while keeping that straight pulling feeling from the top of your head. We're going to close our eyes now and take a few deep breaths. Focusing your energy on your heart during the inhales and focusing your energy on your abdomen during the exhales. Not controlling or forcing the breath, just becoming aware. Breathing in, we're going to reach those arms up. Breathing out, bending from the waist into our first forward fold. Relax the neck, let the head hang heavy. Now we're gonna bend down, bending those knees until your chest can rest gently on your thighs. You can wrap your arms around your legs if that's more comfortable. Shake the head yes and shake the head no. Now, walking the hands out, we're going to come into our first downward facing dog. 
here, you can start to pedal out the feet. Feeling out all of those kinks or any tight areas in the legs. Try to focus on reaching the pelvis back. Now rolling forward, we're going to come into a plank and rolling back into down dog, moving fluidly through this movement, back and forth. Continue to focus on your breath. Try to move with your breath rather than moving your breath with you. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, come forward. On your next inhale, look forward. And now you can hop or step to the front of your mat, coming into a forward fold. Breathing in, placing the hands on the shin, creating a flat back. Breathing out to forward fold. Breathing in, we're going to come up, reaching the arms, looking at the sky. Breathe out, prayer hands to heart center. Take a few moments here, really feel into the body. Just seeing where you're at. And breathe in, sweep the arms up, reach for the sky, breathe out, bending at the waist into forward fold. Breathe in, step back into plank, breathe out, chaturanga, down to the ground. Now here you can breathe in, come into a sphinx, or you can go all the way up to Cobra, or you can even take it into Up Dog, bringing the legs off of the ground. Breathe out, tuck the toes, and come back into Downward Dog. Taking another moment here, for a few breaths. On your next inhale, you're going to look forward and hop or step again into a forward fold. Breathe in. Hands to shins for flat back. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, sweep the arms up. Looking at the hands, reaching for the sky. Exhale, prayer hands to heart center. Now breathing in, sweep the arms up again. Breathe out. Bend at the waist into forward fold. Breathe in, step back. Breathe out, chaturanga. Breathe in, coming up in whatever way you like. Breathe out, tuck the toes and back into downward dog. Taking a few breaths here.
Breathe in, look forward, and hop or step to the front of your mat. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, hands to shin. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, sweep the arms. Prayer hands, breathe out, heart center. Now we're going to do a few of these at your own pace. Follow with however fast your breath is going. There's no rush here. I like to take it very slow. Meeting in Downward Dog. We're gonna roll forward, bringing the knees down. Try to place your wrist underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips. If you look down, you should not be able to see your feet. Meeting in Tabletop position. We're going to start with some cat and cows. Breathe through a few of these on your own.
This next part isn't necessarily a yoga pose, but they feel really good and they really get all the kinks out of the back. We're gonna do some disco kitties and draw some circles with the head following with the hips. It may feel a little funny at first, but I promise once you get used to it, it feels so good. And switch directions now. meeting in a tabletop we are now going to tuck those toes reach back into a downward dog breathe in reach that right leg up coming into three-legged dog and breathe out tuck that knee forward into the right elbow and breathe in, reach back, breathe out, and bring the leg forward. Setting that foot down however you need. We are going to rock through our back left heel, stretching out that right hip. On your next inhale, you're going to reach those arms up to come into a low lunge. Take a few deep breaths here. On the next inhale, reach with cactus arms back. and come forward on your next exhale you're going to rotate that left foot aligning the heels keeping that knee in front pointed toward the toes and the left toes pointed perpendicular. This is your warrior two. You can look forward over your right fingers or straight ahead. Try and really push that right knee out while also keeping your hips aligned straight and forward. Now we are going to reach back and forward, placing that right elbow on the right knee and the left arm reaching over. can flow through this at your own pace following the breath again go as slow or as quickly as you'd like feel into your body Next one, you can cartwheel the hands down, 
step that right leg back into plank and back into down dog. Moving to the other side now, we're going to breathe in, reaching that left leg up, and exhale, bring the left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, come forward, placing that foot down however you need, and rocking through the back leg. Now we're gonna inhale, coming up to that low lunge. Taking a few moments, feeling into the body. I know it burns, but you got this. Keep holding it. On your next exhale, find your warrior two, rotating that back leg. And now we're gonna reach forward, left elbow to left knee, right arm overhead and reach back, left arm overhead. Flowing on this side to your own breath, finding one fluid movement with a stable stance. on your next one cartwheel those hands down to the ground step the left foot back into plank and bring that right leg back up into a pigeon pose if you can't quite stretch this you can put a block underneath your right hip or a blanket or a pillow, whatever you have. If you still can't stretch like that, you can bring the back leg and bend that knee a little bit forward like I'm doing. And now we're just going to rest in this position for a while. Really breathing space into that right hip. Finding a comfortable position.
slowly coming out of that we're gonna move into a few windshield wipers just letting the legs be friends again and bringing that left leg placing it in the front and stepping the right leg back we're gonna go into pigeon pose on the other side feel free to keep using both modifications again get comfortable because we're gonna sit here for a few moments really breathing into the left hip now Slowly coming out. We're going to swing that right leg around and find a pike position. Getting those sits bones on the ground, you might rock back and forth and move those cheeks out of the way. You can bend your knees if that helps you keep a straight spine we're gonna breathe in reaching the arms up finding that length keeping a flat back reaching towards the toes and breathe in reach up breathe out reach for the toes you can sway in this at your own pace. Moving with your breath, remembering to let the breath move you. Reaching down to grab the feet or however far you can go you can curl your head forward allowing the spine to bend and let the head hang heavy bend those knees if you need feeling the weight of your head stretch out your spine this stretch can be very intense for your neck so if it's too much, don't push yourself too far.
slowly rolling out of that. We're going to come to a seated position. Reach your right arm up overhead. Bring it to the left ear. And bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Very gently putting some pressure, but mostly letting gravity stretch the left side of your neck. For an extra stretch, you can place that left arm out. You can slowly bring that right arm back down, reaching the left arm up to the right ear, bringing the left ear to the left shoulder, and putting that right arm out for an extra stretch if you want. Reaching that left arm back down to the ground, we're gonna go into everybody's favorite pose now. Bring those legs to one side of your mat, and we're gonna slowly, as slow as you can, try to calm down vertebrae by vertebrae onto your mat to meet me in corpse pose. Laying flat, you could put a pillow under your head, you can put a blanket under your knees for a little bit of elevation there. Feel the support of the ground and try to relax all of your muscles, feeling yourself get heavier and heavier, knowing that the ground will support you. Let go of all the tension, all the worries of the day, let them go. And for now, know that there's nothing that needs to be done.
wiggling the toes and the fingers slowly coming out of this you can roll to one side using your arm as a pillow and push yourself up into a seated position taking one last breath together we're gonna sweep the arms up gathering all of the good energy and bringing it down through the head into the heart namaste I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you feel relaxed. I know I do. Please don't forget thumbs up, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday.